Assalamu alaikum, Gabby family. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. This is Mommy Gabby with baby Mohammed. Uh, my baby's not in a too uplifted mood today. He's making me feel sick along with him now. Oh. It's not easy being a mommy. Assalamu alaikum. So it's not easy being a mom. When your kids or your little ones are sick, you also feel sick along with them. So this morning he has been like going through the bathroom, having a runny stomach. Like this is his third diaper change already this morning. And it don't, this don't usually happen to him. I don't know. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he's such a strong boy. He is such a strong boy that he don't usually... His little sickness don't bring him down. He's a strong kid. So right now, how are you guys doing, Gabby family? I'm doing so-so okay today, health-wise and feeling so... It's, we're humans, it's not, every day is not an uplifted mood. Some days we feel tired, some days you feel oh. sleepy, and some days it's just, things gotta, life is what it is. So today is those kind of day for me. But um, the fact that I'm feeling like this does not, ha cannot stop me from doing whatever I have to do. So for today video, um, it's a way to show that even there's days that you're not feeling on your uplifted mood, you're not feeling as strong as you usually are, that you have to push on and continue and hold on and move, keep moving with the little strength you have because as a mother, especially as a lady, and what we have been taught in Africa and our parents has taught us is that no matter what, how much you are feeling, how tired you are, your home has to be kept together, no matter what. You have to cook, you have to clean, you have to keep your family together. And that's part of what makes a mother a strong head of the house. Yes, I said it. Ladies are the strong head of the house. Yes. <laughs> many people might not, many guys I know might not agree to it, but it's true. The women are very strong. The mothers are very strong in a home. They keep the foundation of a family and everything that happens around the house together. So props to us women. We did it. We run the. We run this. <laughs> so that's what it is today, Yabi family. We go, um, no matter how I'm feeling, how sick I'm feeling right now, and how down I feel, I'm just. This is some type, sort of video to show you guys that no matter, sorry about that. This sort of video shows that no matter how you are feeling, just keep your head uplifted and do what you have to do to run your home. So, Javi family, Stay tuned and watch my video and how I do my day when things are not as quite as comfortable and when I'm not as strong and energetic as I want to be, but I still got to hold my home together. So, Salaamu Alaikum, Gabby family. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Whenever I have new video posted, you'll be the first one to see and... If you guys might not know by now, I work hard and try to make sure that I post video every single week. I, I, I don't know how I do it. I work long hours, but every week I feel like if I don't post video, I'm incomplete. Because <laughs> I love making videos. I love creating. So, Yabi family, that's what it is for now. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. See you in a few minutes.
this is new, something I came across with. I'm gonna give it a try and see if it works. It's a multi-purpose cleaner and it works for kitchen, bathroom, floor, stove. I wanna give this a try. I have a few things that I picked out already. I have no some game because I'm gonna be washing baby Mohammed's clothes and a few of the items, Kareem, Clorox, and this right here, I want to give this a try. It's a house refresher, uh, for, uh, little <laughs> house freshener, and it, it's like the Islamic one. It makes the house smell good, so I want to give this a try. This is one of my favorite stores that I come to every day. It's located where I live, and it's a, one of my favorite African store, African market that one of my uncle. Uh, owns he's not my uncle but you know as african we call everybody uncles and aunties <laughs> so he owns down here i picked out a few things that i'm that i want for my house and this is one of the things that i picked out as a mother you always need stuff that ha uh, that disinfect and takes out bacteria and kill germs because Yes, things is coming along beautifully. And I guess the walking up and down, the doing of the work is helping me with my mood a bit and my feelings. So I'm feeling pretty much good. But I just, right now I'm going to the little market that, you know, the little market around where I live and they sell little fruits and vegetables. Um, for the things like I'm cooking a stew also today peanut butter stew so I'm gonna pass by there to get some fruits and vegetables I'm gonna need to cook my food but I just can't stop and admire the beautiful beautiful restful Sunday it is it's very nice and calm on Sundays I pretty much love it so that's how things is going so far I'm feeling much better and I have more energy now, not that I force myself to get out of the house and do the stuff I have to do. So, Gabby family, don't go nowhere.
So guys, I just got home and Mohammed on the other hand is feeling much better. Yeah. <laughs> you are feeling much better, Papa? Yeah. You are? He's shaking his head. He said yes. Yes. Yeah. You are, Papa? Yeah. And he is energy. He has a lot of energy. He's feeling much better, my baby. Papa? You feeling much better, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. You feeling better? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You say, yeah? <laughs> Mohammed is such a handsome boy. He's feeling much better now. He was here with daddy's. While the daddy sleep, he sleeps also so that they could get a little bit more energy. Right now, my oh, husband, yeah. on the other hand, this is his midnight. He's really, really out right now. He's tired because he work overnight. So the morning, he sleeps. I know my husband's very tired, so I will not bother him. Mohammed. 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 I feel assalamu alaikum, Gabby family. Yeah. You ready to go outside? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, Papa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is so handsome. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? So, this is where the big work begin. I'm just coming from shopping. I bought everything, man, all the stuff that I might need for my cooking. Now it's time for me to shut it up in the kitchen before my husband wakes up so he could have something nice to eat, something fresh, you know. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to be putting away the stuff that I'm not going to use and put, uh, cook the things I'm take out the stuff that I'm, I'm going to be using while I'm cooking. So this is pretty going to be pretty much fun. I don't think you guys ever saw me doing videos of cookings, but it'll be very entertaining. See how I make a uh, meatball peanut butter stew. It's really delicious. It's something that I haven't eaten for a long time and I'm craving peanut butter. I don't know. So I'm pretty much going to enjoy making that i don't really like to vlog when i cook because it takes so much time and i like cooking fast so the fact that i have to take my time and you know look take picture videos of what i'm doing it makes me kind of slow and it's hot in the kitchen during this time of the weather it's summer so it's very hot you get cranky being here for too long so I'm going to try to do as much as I film as much as I can because it's not easy. It's hot. Time to pray. It's officially, it's actually one o'clock now and I have my coconut water, cold coconut water. It's very cold. See, you could ready, you could ready tell. So I'm going to be enjoying the coconut water. And doing what I have to do. So, Javi family, watch my video. Hello, hi guys. So, right now, I'm gonna be doing a little voiceover to see how I'm doing, how it turns out. Okay, so right now, I'm just cleaning my meat, and that is chicken breast. It's one of my favorite um, piece of meat that when I want to make meatball stew, I like to use the chicken breast with no bones so that I could be able to just blend it well with no bone that has to interfere with my meat. So right now I'm just rinsing it out with lemon, salt and a little bit of vinegar so that it could take the oil off from the meat and making sure that it's well clean because I don't like meat with extra oil on, like linging of oil strings on it I don't like that so my chicken is well clean now and I'll be using this uh, knife so that I could be splitting them and into smaller pieces so that when I use the blender 
it won't be able to it will be able to blend easily so that's what I'm doing right now cutting them into small pieces and making sure that it's small enough for the blender and as you guys can see I'm removing all of the um, uh, uh, the ones that I cut and put them aside because it's much better if you do that because I don't want to mess them up and give them all cooked up in one small space so that's what I'm doing right now I have like few meats left I'm telling you if you want to try the best way to get good results in meatball try chicken chicken is very good meat to make meatball even when you want to make like a little um, something little dessert I mean like a little dinner for your family is very good it helps out a lot it's not too much bone because you know if you have children especially anything with bone is not as easy for the kids to be able to eat so right now I'll be cutting my scallion leaves and which we call it in my language uh, um, and I have my onions and pepper on the side that I'll be cutting and for those that might not know might think that I'm cutting a lot of uh, um, a lot of the onion leaves and every I'm cutting too much it's because I'm gonna be using some for the stew and some to blend it with the with the uh, chicken breast so if it comes out like if it looks like I'm cutting too much items it's because I'll be splitting it for two things that I'll be using we using it for I know it looks so scary now that I see how I'm cutting it I'm scared for my own fingers <laughs> my fingers is just scaring me last pieces of onion and now I'm just cutting some of the pepper because I didn't want them to be a bunch in it so I'm gonna cut in small pieces just by looking at this video scared me because I feel like I'm gonna cut my hands which I didn't which I'm surprised so that's it I believe I'm gonna be splitting some and put some on the chicken and put some on the side just in case I'm gonna be using for my stew. now i'll be using looking for my peanut butter so that peanut butter helps that's my favorite brand skippy's also peanut butter helps to bring the flavor to the meat because it's still peanut butter stew so we always make sure we put like a little peanut butter in it to give the flavor to the chicken uh, to the meatballs so i'm gonna put like a little bit amount of it mixing the the vegetables that i'll be putting and putting a little bit amount on the chicken and now I'm just trying to blend in the meat that I have with the vegetables that I cut in small pieces also and and right now I believe I'm, I'll be taking out a little bit of corn flour that I want to make my meatball a little bit hard because I like when my meatball is a little bit hard so that when I put it in the thing in the frying pan it stays to it stays the same way so I'm not gonna put a lot of corn flour but I'll be definitely putting just a little bit so that it could make the meat a little bit hard and now I'm gonna be blending my little meat the chicken uh, the chicken breast the pepper scallion leaves onion leaves all together Oh, how lucky I am. I love the ninja that I have. Oh, man. I have this almost for like years now. Almost six years. And it still works the best. So I'm pretty much glad for that.
now right now i'll be making my meatball into little bit um, bowl, um balls and be able to put them in the burning oil so that they could be fried before i put them straight into my stew uh, uh, um, sauce and I'm gonna put like a little bit oil in the pan so that it could be enough. I'm not gonna be frying them for too long, just a little bit, like get them a little brown so that when I put them in the soup, they'll still have little color to it. It's not as white because white, when meat is too white, I don't like it. Now, that's one of my favorite things to do is watch little videos on YouTube when I'm working because it also occupies me and keeps my mind a little busy and it makes me forget about what, how much work I have in hand to do. So, that's what I was doing there. And the rest of the, um, the, rest of the vegetables that I have, and uh, I'll be putting them in the separate bowl. And guys, don't forget, if you might see that I'm putting more uh, um, peanut butter because it's peanut butter stew. It's peanut butter sauce. Can see. So it's gonna be with a lot of peanut butter. So I'm gonna put the rest of the peanut butter that I had in the container and put it in the stew with the vegetables. Let it all marinate and cook together while I uh, fry the rest of the meats in the other side of the pan. I mean, in the other side of the fire. guys how are you guys doing Gabby family so right now Yay. I am <laughs> alaikum Gabby family right now me and baby Mohammed are on our way to a little party that my sister invited us and uh, other children my sister's children so it's gonna be many of them today cousins getting together it's gonna be wild because there's too many of them so right now I'm just like happy finally that I was able to do my cooking my cleaning and all the stuff that I need to do in my house now I'm on my way there to just relax and enjoy with our children and Mohammed's gonna see his cousins <laughs> He's gonna see cousin Sayu, and he's gonna see my other sister's kids. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and wild with them. When they get together, it's like another turn up for them. <laughs> so that's what it is right now. We are heading, and from there, we're gonna take another cab to the part little it's a party place that one of my sister friend invited her. So I feel like I'm doing like African timings because this is what in Africa people do. When they finish cooking in the morning and in the afternoon, they dress up and do whatever they have to do and just be and go out to a family or relative house or like a little get together. So I kind of feel like that a bit. <laughs> so that's what it is, Javi family. And this is how I look. This is how I look. I love it. I look so nice. <laughs> I just love the way I look today because it's simple and the makeup is light and you know it's giving it's giving everything it's giving happiness it's giving peace of mind it's giving love and that's what we need <laughs> okay Gabby family I will definitely get tuned back in within a few minutes and we're gonna we're gonna get to this little part, kids party later dude they are making a vlog no more but hi let me guys the to see the day, oh, wow. hi guys everybody says salamu alaikum alaikum hi guys so this is the whole guys. gang Look, don't point yeah. Yeah. yeah the whole gang is here Thank we're you. going to a birthday party today yes, yes. khadija's right <laughs> 
And Sally yeah. was sitting right here. <laughs> right um, here in this chair. no. And this Maki is Keroba. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of a photo. Vaseline. <laughs> and that's Makisa. 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 Look. Look at the camera. She's busy. <laughs> and this, this is, is and she introduced herself already. What's okay. your name? Khadija. Yes, that's there you go. That's our little Khadija. And we are ready to are you guys ready to party? What are you gonna do? Like, what? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh he wants to introduce himself. Okay, introduce, introduce yourself, yourself, Mr. Man. As in I hop. No. Yes, he's right. Of course, he was in many of our videos. So, did you introduce yourself now? You was an I have by introduce yourself. It's okay. What? And what? that is Koto Kerno. Koto Kerno. We call him Koto Kerno because he's Koto. He's the biggest one here so far. Koto, 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 Yes, and we are gonna we um. It's gonna be Mohana team birthday party. Team. Mohana, remember team. Mohana, you forgot the name. Mohana is Mohana. What's this? Mohana. Mohana. So that's where we're going, a little Moana theme party, yeah. birthday party, and it's gonna be so fun. I'm ready to hype for the some kids. Cake. Yeah. Wow. And we're cake, gonna be cake, in the cake. water. I can't wait to eat that. You bought some swimming trunks for them? I didn't, but I have some for them to wear, maybe to go in the water. Yeah. <gasps> water? Okay, so guys, we'll tune back in I a few see, minutes. You know, you know Later. Khadija, what they're putting on your face?
Where is he? Look at these two musketeers. What happened? Hey. Is that gemel? No. No gemel? No. Yes, gemel. No. So everybody's saying that they're twins. Mohammed and cousin Salu are twins. And look at Makisa here. She's so busy. These kids. Oh my God. I hope when they go home, they will sleep for a long time. That's the first thing they do is sleep. Now they're popping balloon bubbles. No. Let's go. Salut. Salut. Pa. pushing papa. Come. Okay. Salut who? Don't put <laughs> Salut is afraid. But it's okay, Salut. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it slowly for Salut so he could get the hang of it. Wee! No, Papa, he's he likes stuff like this. Oh, okay, it's okay, Sally. It's okay, it's okay. okay. And this one, on the other hand, is so into this. Be careful, Makisa. Come. Come. Don't go too close. I can go. Don't worry. Okay, okay, I'm here. Hold on. This boy is so scared. Khadija, you not scared? No. Okay, push yourself on that. Let me see if you're not scared. Okay. Khadija, you're a big girl. Makisa, where are you going? Fix your dress in the back. <laughs> Why are you? I'm trying to 
the teacher I'm not over Yay! Yay! He loves the swing because all oh, he every time we go to the park that's the first thing he asks you to put him. So he's pretty much used to it. <laughs> oh Sally, you'll be fine, you're fine. Auntie's here. Auntie. Uh, okay. Auntie's here. Assalamu alaikum everybody. How are you guys doing? So I just I've been I just got home from the little um get together with my sister and my nieces and nephews. It was, it was a such a beautiful get together and it was fun and we get to be a kid again and look after them. So I love giving beautiful memories to children because that's what I love. And when you give good memories to children, they grow up and they, and they stick with them. So it was a nice thing that we was able to offer for them, all of them. And right now, I just got home. I'm tired. I did all my prayers, alhamdulillah. Yes, and I'm so grateful because not everybody could come and do something like that in a strength and in a healthy way. So. And Allah give you strength and health. Say Alhamdulillah. Be very grateful for it. So, I'm home now, and I'm home now. I'm just relaxing. Mohammed is watching Omar and Hannah, one of his favorite cartoon. Now, nowadays, I wanna have them to launch on that more, more of a Muslim channel for kids and Muslim videos, I want him to watch more of that because I want him to grow up in that kind of mindset. He still has, he's still not in the best mood that he usually is. Today, he just like, I don't know. He's looking pretty, not as strong as he usually is. So, hopefully I'll wait to see till tomorrow because I will not work, I'm not working tomorrow. If it still continue, I'll go to the hospital. If it stops, because now it's becoming like a diarrhea a bit. And he's constantly going to the bathroom. And I've changed. And whenever I notice that he's having, he, um, he threw a, he made a big bump. I make sure I clean it so that it don't stain on him for too long. So, because when that kind of stay on him, when he has a runny stomach, when children have runny stomachs, and you just keep the same diaper on them for a long time because you get tired of changing, changing. It, it causes another problem. Just like for an example, rash, diaper rash. And it's not healthy because nobody wants to stay in their own feces. Especially somebody who can express how much pain they are in. So I feel kind of bad. So that's how it is to right now, Javi family. For those that has not subscribed to my channel, subscribe if you like my video give it a thumbs up and make sure you tune in every single week inshallah i'm praying to allah that i don't get tired i will make sure i post a video every week and my life is full of activities and stuff to do every day i'm telling you every day so when i choose one day out of the day out of the week and just decided let me vlog this day it's like it's a lot and vlogging cooking cleaning it's another it's another extreme so I hope you really enjoyed this video 
Thank you. And for those that don't know me, my name is Mahawa. I'm a mom of four and half of my children are no longer with me. They went to Morocco to learn Arabic and I have one with me right now who's actively with me and me and my husband just decided and just woke up one day and said, let's take our kids out of America. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We've been going through this um, little transaction and looking for a place that's suitable for our children for so long. And all of a sudden, Allah just gave us a wonderful idea that we should provide, uh, that we should guide our children. And we did a lot of prayers and dua, and before we knew, Allah chose one place for us, and our heart and mind was like, just, me and my husband, heart and mind were just like one. And we planned, and then we just, one time, we bought ticket for all of all of us, all uh, four, uh, three, four, five, six, all six of us at the house here, we bought ticket, and we went to see how Morocco was, and then, bam! It's it's just it was it become the best idea we have ever come with, the best decision we have ever taken, and I can't believe it. Sorry about that. I live by the train station. If you guys know by not know by now, so um. It's become the best decision we have ever taken because our children are a very good uh, good place where they are and we know they're in health and they're good in a good hands we place them in good hands because when you have a family that cares and understand and supports you is better than anything so that's what it is before my channel was full of children full of my children energetic and it's just it was fun so now that they're no longer here i try to keep up and give them stuff to also see when they when since they're not here and they watch videos the videos back back home in morocco they love it they still ask me mommy how this is how things are with me they are really still excited and i'm so glad that i will keep up with this channel inshallah until the day they come back and see how much work and growth i have put into this channel so, Salaamu Alaikum Gabi family. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for watching the video all the way till now. And thank you, may Allah make. So, that's all I have to say right now. May Allah make our path. Uh, the path that Allah wants us to be. And may Allah guide us through everything we make. All the decisions we make for ourselves and our family. Good and righteous for us. I mean, okay, Gabi family. Thank you. Salaamu Alaikum. Bye-bye. Hehehehe <laughs>